Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us today for our virtual military visit with U.S. Marine Corps Staff Sergeant Freeman. And yes. he is going to be speaking with us today about all the wonderful opportunities available to you through the U.S. Marines. So I'm going to hand this over to Staff Sergeant Freeman and let you get started. Thank you. All right. Um, good morning. My name is Staff Sergeant Freeman. Uh, I have been in the Marine Corps for almost 10 years. And uh, what we realize is that a lot of students think that most of the functions of the Marine Corps are like the basic riflemen. Um, basically, what I'm here to do to show you today is like that is one of our jobs, but we do have a multitude of other uh, jobs. Uh, I do have a video that's going to go in and explain some of that. Uh, as far as my background, what I did do for the Marine Corps is I do uh, a lot of information technology, basically uh, computer and server management, as long as some uh, small uh, computer networking. Uh, so without further ado, uh, I got this video that I'm going to go ahead and play for you guys. And uh, yeah, we can go from there. And I'm here today to talk to you about a possible career with the Marines. Now, first off, I'd like to thank your teacher for letting me in this afternoon to give you this information. So who are we as the Marines? Well, we're a branch of the military that was originally founded November 10th, 1775. We're known around the world as the most elite fighting force. Our mission as the United States Marine Corps is to make Marines win battles and develop quality citizens to return back to the civilian sector upon their completion of active duty. Now, the Marine Corps has a couple of features that are exclusive to us alone. One of them being U.S. Embassy Guards. Now, we send Marines all over the world to each U.S. Embassy to perform security duties for the diplomats that work there. We're also responsible for the President's Oath, which is a band that exclusively plays for the President and certain diplomats, and they go all over the world just playing their instrument and getting paid for it. We're also in charge of Marine One, which is the President's very own personal helicopter. So today, some of the things we're going to cover is basically an overlay as a career as a Marine, whether that be on active duty or in the reserves. We'll go over some of the technical skills and combat arms that are specific to the Marine Corps, as well as some educational opportunities and sports programs that we provide. So as an active duty Marine, you'll be serving a four to five year contract. You'll go get stationed at a duty station anywhere in America and some overseas, and you'll have guaranteed work with a steady income on one of over 300 different occupational specialties that we provide. You'll be able to attend college with 100% free tuition, and you'll have free medical and dental insurance to ensure that you're always in top shape. Another option that you have is the Marine Corps Reserve, which basically you earn the title of the United States Marine, complete the basic training, some of our combat training, and you're granted an MOS, but your only obligation would be to attend reserve drill once a month and go on a two-week exercise at some point during the year. So as far as some of the technical skills that we provide here in the Marine Corps, any job you can think of in the civilian sector, you might be able to find here in the Marine Corps. We have everything ranging from financial and accounting to intelligence and topography and mapping. We also have jobs as far as engineering, construction, metalworking. We have jobs in public affairs, aviation mechanics, aviation electronics, and cybersecurity, as well as like drone operations. I myself, before I became a recruiter, was a CNC machinist for the Marine Corps, where I designed parts for multiple different weapon systems, vehicles, and aircraft. So now here's the, I guess, the Hollywood part of the Marine Corps, and that'd be the combat arm side of things. Uh, we have everything from artillery to combat engineers, infantry, amphibious assault vehicles, our reconnaissance Marines, and our Marine Corps Special Operations Command. So to kind of dive deeper in on some of the educational opportunities that we provide, the, the number one thing active duty Marines like to use is something called the Tuition Assistance Program. Now, this is something that's going to assure 100% of your college tuition is being paid for while attending online courses or going to local campuses around where you're stationed, with the only stipulation being you have to maintain at least a C average in all your classes. Another route that people like to take is upon their exit of active duty service, they use what's called the post 9-11 GI Bill. This is something that also assures 100% of your tuition is paid for while attending college full time, while also some of your housing expenses, materials, and food are covered for to ensure that you can focus on achieving that goal of getting your degree. So on the reserve side of things, when it comes to educational benefits, you'll have access to something called the Reserve GI Bill. Now, this is something that's going to grant you about $375 a month and a total of $13,500 in tuition assistance to kind of help you towards that college goal while only having to work for the Marines one weekend a month. Now, 
for all you that like sports out there, there are multiple sports programs that the Marine Corps actually provides. There are some Marines whose job it is to full-time participate in whatever sport that they're in and compete competitively around the nation as a United States Marine Corps team. Some of these teams include basketball, boxing, cross country, football, and wrestling. So what's it like to live life daily as an active duty Marine? Now, there may be some misconceptions out there. You know, we're, we're marching around all day, living in tents, different kind of stuff like that. And it's not really like that at all. Now, life as a Marine on active duty is kind of like a nine to five job. Uh, usually show to work around 7.30 in the morning and you're off around 4.30 to five o'clock in the evening. You'll have your weekends off. Federal holidays, you'll either receive a three or four day weekend and you earn up to 30 days of paid vacation every year. So how does it work? Say you want to join the Marine Corps and you want to know kind of the steps in the process. Well, the first thing would be to get you to process of what we call the military entrance processing station. Now, what that is, is getting you to take the ASVAB, seeing how smart you are and trying to find out what jobs you actually qualify for. And then the next second part will be something like a, a sports physical times 10. Just trying to make sure your entire body works the way it should and there's nothing medically wrong with you. The next step from that will be entering what we call the delayed entry program. And what that is, is basically the step between enlisting and going to basic training because we can't send you straight off right off the bat. Um, this is where we take the time to see how well you do physically and mentally before going to boot camp. This is something that we train multiple times a week and one Saturday out of every month just to ensure that your success in basic training is guaranteed. Directly after the delayed entry program portion, you'll actually ship to recruit training, which is 13 weeks at a place called Paris Island, South Carolina. Immediately after your completion of recruit training, you have earned the title of United States Marine. You'll come home for 10 days of leave to kind of celebrate the fact that you've earned the title. And you'll go directly to what we call Marine Combat Training or the Infantry Training Battalion. Immediately after that, you'll be going to your specific job school or your military occupational specialty school. Now, the length of this depends on what your actual job is. And directly upon completion of that, you'll head to your first duty station and start serving your time as an active duty Marine. So that about summarizes how your life would actually be as a United States Marine and some of the opportunities and benefits that are entailed in that. Now that you have that information, I challenge you to contact your local recruiter or go to marines.com to get more information. Thank you for your time. So um, with that being said, my time in the Marine Corps, it's been, uh, it's been great. We, um, it's not, it's just like uh, Sergeant uh, Nixon was saying in the video, everybody gets this misconception of whether the Marine Corps, you know, all we're doing is training or all we're doing is one thing or the other. Um, what, I've, uh, what I've found out is that, yes, we do a lot of training, but it's also about building you as a person because at the end of it, whether you do four years, whether you do 20 or you do 10 like myself and you decide to go ahead and transition out, the Marine Corps is there to is, uh, basically return you back to the civilian life as a better person. So that way, whatever skills you earn while in the Marine Corps, whether that's educational skills, interpersonal skills, or, you know, or any other skills that we may offer, on the outside, of, on the flip side of that, once you uh, exit the Marine Corps, we know that you'll be a better person and a better product to society. Um, now, the best way to get in contact with me and, uh, is to get with your career counselor, depending on what school you go to. Uh, for at Lee High School, you'll see myself. For most of Hanover County, you'll see Staff Sergeant Ruiz. And uh, for Patrick Henry, it'll be uh, Sergeant Meeker. But all of us have been trained into uh, helping you get to what you want, where you want in your life. and at least showing you certain opportunities that could be offered to you. Uh, the biggest, the biggest um, advice that I can give you guys is to just come with an open mind. Some people think like the military lifestyle is not for them, or they believe that, that it's, it's just, you know, it's just something that they haven't thought about. And basically what, basically what I challenge you to do is just to at least give us a phone call, give us a text, reach, a, reach out to us or to your career council so that way they can reach out to us and we can give you an idea of what military life could be for you or what the journey could look like for yourself. Um, that's all I have for right now. Like I said, if you got any questions, please go ahead and get with your career counselors. Um, you can find myself on Instagram. Um, 
and, and uh, Miss Edwards for Atlee High School. She has my contact information. Um, and same thing for Patrick Henry, they have Sergeant Meekers and the rest of Hanover County, they have Sar uh, Staff Sergeant Marises. Um, thank you for your time and I appreciate that. Yes, and we will um, be posting your contact information as well as the other staff sergeants um, contact information for each school along with this video. So students, you can make sure you're reaching out to the right representative, right recruiter for you. And if you have any questions, of course, you can always reach out to your career counselor as well. Um, thank you so much for joining us today. We really appreciate it. I'm gonna end the recording so we can take some questions from student on the call. Thank you.